so many familiar faces in the crowd today, and we are delighted that you're able to join us today as we celebrate another major milestone in Kalahari history, the grand opening and unveiling of our new, expanded 215,000 square foot convention center. I'd especially like to welcome our distinguished guests with me over here. Their partnership and support has been invaluable in enabling us to reach this proud moment. I'm gonna offer each of them a chance to provide some short remarks, and then we'll move over this area to uh, officially cut the ribbon on the new convention center. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming to the stage Kalahari Resort Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Joseph Haas. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to offer you a warm Kalahari welcome. You know, it's warm outside. I think last year at this time we were concerned when we made these plans, how much snow we're going to have and parking and everything else. I would like to take this moment to extend a very sincere welcome from the Nelson family, who unfortunately will not be here. It's not here. Uh, we have probably moved this particular opening at three different locations and uh, when we made the final decision December 10th, uh, January 10th is the date, uh, uh, he decided that he's going to keep it warm. Uh, <laughs> six years ago, we embarked ourselves in, uh, in this journey here in Sandusky, opening its doors with this beautiful, authentic, African-themed resort. Since then, we have added almost, or in excess, or quite around $200 million in various different phases of expansion. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a hell of a ride, I can tell you. Uh, since then, uh, today, we have actually started to pro keep the process alive, and we have today, at this particular time, adding to our current facility an additional 117,000 square feet of additional ballroom space. Since we've been talking to our various different business associates and people who've done business with us, it became evidently clear that this center was too small. We were at the verge of losing a couple of businesses because they outgrew us. And through our foresight of, and support from our owner, we have been very successful to get to this point that we have added this particular facility. We've been planning this since actually early part of 2010, when we, as I said, when we found out that there's a, a need for an additional facility. Um, when we made the decision to add it to this conference center, we have um, went to work as a group and we have engaged Mr. Uh, through all our efforts here, Mr. Steve Pine. Steve, are you around here? Our Director of Development, who, Mr. Pine, who has summoned his very creative team and went out and contracted with an interior architectural design firm and then selected a general contractor. And his group of people went back, ladies and gentlemen, and what you see here today has the DNA of Steve Pine and his people on it. So, uh, today, uh, when we look at, the, uh, at this facility, it opened a complete new different direction as is where we can do business. We have uh, we added several people to our staff and throughout the day you will probably meet some of them. We have expanded our horizon as far as doing business within Sandusky and Ohio and Erie County probably by five, six, seven hundred miles out its perimeter. And that will mean a complete different approach as to the way we have done business and will do business in the future. Uh, not just have we opened the conference center today, but we've also added six spectacular five bedroom Noyumba units, which sleep 22 people. Sometimes today, after we finish here, I would like to encourage everybody and anybody to go out and take a tour and look at this facility. You will spend your next birthday vacation reunion in this particular unit. I know that Commissioner Shenegar is already a reserved one. <laughs> Kalahari is proud to be a very sensitive and supportive community leader. 
In 2010, last, 2011, last year, we were awarded the Business of the Year through Erie County Chamber of Commerce, and we are needless to say, we're very proud of it. Uh, we have also been very, very instrumental in our local community efforts as it relates to fundraising, uh, fundraising and charitable event. We have always made it a point to let everybody know that Kalahari is a community element, a community partner, and supports any efforts which are put forth within the community. We'll continue to strive to take this leadership. We will continue to strive to grow Kalahari in the years to come. Uh, somebody asked me just now, what is our goal for the future? I said, as you know, Mr. Nelson, the sky is the limit and good enough is not good enough. So we will continue to do that. And again, through people in this particular uh, audience here, you know that we are here to do not just stand still and let the world go by, we are the world. So thank you so much.